Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Link Stack on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, a third party app store. So, a, a little bit about this series, I'm going over a home lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, Link Stack. Link Stack, the ultimate solution for creating personalized and professional profile page. Showcase all your important links in one place. Forget the limitation of one link on social media. Set up your personal site on your own server with just one click. And that's what we'll be doing today. It's open source. It's a link tree alternative. So this is some screenshots of custom themes. So that's what we'll be installing today. I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over the search and type link. And then now you see apps link stack right here. And then now I'm going to go in the Docker and pose. So the Cost OS app name is called Big Bear Link Stack. I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Link Stack. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then the container name is going to be set to Big Bear Link Stack. And this is so Docker does not generate a random name. The, the host name is set to Big Bear Link Stack. The environment variables right here. And um, I would set this to your own time zone. And then the ports right here. So 8080 on the host. If this does collide with no, another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container is 80. Do not change the container port. And then 10.443 is on the host. And like I said, if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container is 4.4.3. Restart policy is set to unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will restart. And then volumes down here. So data, app data. A dynamic variable which is gotten from the name up here and then data this is on the host side and then on the container side is data the entry point is set to bin sh and also the command down here runs and now the x cost os information to explain the app to the uh, cost os so the volumes and then the ports and X cost OS information to explain it to the app store. So architectures that the, the Docker image supports is AMD64 and ARM64. And that's what this Docker image supports. And uh, the main service is Big Bear Link Stack. And that rhymes with the service name up here. And then description, the tagline, the, the developer of the Docker image, the author of the, uh, this Docker Compose. And then the icon, which has gotten uh, from uh, the dashboard icons down here. And then uh, th a thumbnail, the title, and the application category is set to Big Bear Cost OS. And port map is 10.443. And this, uh, this rhymes with the port up here. And then um, the scheme is set to uh, HTTPS. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So I'm going to start on my Cos OS, and I'm going to go to App Store. And then I'm going to go to search and type link. And now you see right here, and it's coming from a Big Bear Cost OS because of uh, the category down here. Um, so you can go into it, you can install, and then you can continue in background. 
if you want to see other Big Brick Cross OS apps, you can go here and you can click the category and then you can now see all of them available. It's grown quite a bit. It's got 140 apps right now. And I'm always looking at ideas for more. So right here, now it's installing. So what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting it up with Docker and Pose underneath because this is using the Docker engine. So um, it's up. Uh, you know it's uh, up because of the lit up icon. You can also go in a uh, Dazzle right here, and you can see that it's up and running. A, do a Dazzle is a, re a really nice tool, and I have a video on that as well. So I'm going to go into the files app right here and app data and Big Bear link stack. You see it right here. You can click on it and go into data and you can see all of the files that are in here. Um, so database, themes, images, and then image. You can also go up here and check mark everything and you can download, copy, cut, delete, and then cancel. You can also go over here to the uh, the horizontal dots and you can download copy path rename cut copy share and then delete So that's where your files are located for link stack So I'm gonna go over the app settings So up here you go to the vertical dots you click it you can open in the web UI You can set some tips and this is kind of like a notepad and then you can come in here and edit and then you can save and then now to reload the container in the background and then you go back into tips and it did save. You can go over here to settings and you can see all the settings right here and you can edit them and then press the save button. You can also go here in terminal logs. You can go into the container and then you can see the logs. This is great for debugging. You can exit out of there. You can export the Docker Compose in a formatted file uh, from Casa OS. So it's got the X Casa OS information in there. So I'm going to exit out of here, and then I'm going to go back over here, and you can check for updates from Big Bear Cross OS, and you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So the check for updates, sometimes you need to take off the App Store and re-add it, and also reboot the Cross OS to get the new updates. That seems to be a bug in the latest Cross OS. So now that I've went over the files and the app settings, I'm going to go and set up the app now. So you can open it from here, or you can also open it from the icon right here. So now I'm, I'm going to set up a link stack, and this will set up the, uh, uh, this ch uh, check the server dependencies, set up the database, create the admin user, and configure the app. So I'm going to say next, and then next, and then you can also go with MySQL, but you will need to set up a MySQL database. I'm going to just go with SQLite. Next. And then the admin e email, I'm going to just go to admin at example.com. And then I'm going to put a admin password in. So make sure you remember that. And I'm going to just go with a name. So now I'm going to say next. You can enable a registration, yes or no. You can enable email verification. You can also set your page as the home page. So it'll set your links as the home page. You can say no or yes. And then you can put a app name right here. I'm going to say finish setup. So now we're in it and we can go ahead and log in and we'll need the uh, credentials that we put in the setup. So, and then you can say, remember me forgot password I'm gonna say sign in so now we're inside of the dashboard so now we're inside the dashboard so you can see our total links a link clicks site statistics and then registrations and the active users you can also view the page up here so you can click it and then you can view your page you can add links to this so I'm gonna go backwards you can also share your pro a profile and then you can uh, generate a QR code. You can come down here and go to the uh, not uh, notifications and then you can see updates. You can also go over here to profile and you can edit your profile. And then you can go back up here go and go to settings. 
You can export all data, export links only, import user data, and you can also delete your account. You can go over here and you can log out. You can also go to styling and you can change it to auto to where it goes on your system or just dark or light. You can do a color customizer so you can change the colors and then that's red and then orange. So um, you can also change the sidebar color, a default, dark, which and then the color and then tra transparent. The sidebar types, you can say mini and it just closed it and then ho hover to where you can hover over it and then boxed. Um, so you can just do mini or you can do n none of it. You can uh, ch change the sidebar active style too. X out of there. So now you can come down here and add a link. So um, you can select a predefined site, Amazon, Apple Books. You can do a custom title. So I'm going to say, and then I'm going to just put a Aurelian. So now you can cancel, save, and then save and add more. I'm going to save. So now we have a link in there and you can see a preview over here as well. You can uh, ch change page icons and clicks. Um, so you can go ahead and view the page now and you can see that we have one link. So you can go backwards. You can go to appearance and you can change your profile and then themes and you can change the theme of it. And then Galaxy. You can also change the background. You can manage the themes down here and upload them. You can upload the theme and delete the themes and download the themes. So you can go back to dashboard. So now I'm going to go over the admin. Um, so you can go, come over here and you can see admin if you're an admin. And since you're the first user, you should be an admin. So I'm going to go into it. You can go to the config right here and um, you can see config, advanced to config, take backup, all backups and diagnosis. You can come down here and you can see alternative config editor. You can set, see PHP info. You can jump to these sections down here, the panel settings, security, advanced, and then SMTP uh, a, a system uh, a settings mean um, you can set up a mail pit and I have a tutorial on that so you don't have to have an SMTP server if you don't want to while you're locally on your LEN. Um, so you can send a test email, footer links, and then um, de a debug so you can turn off that or, or turn it on. So um, you can go to advanced config right here and you can change some of the config. Um, you can take a backup, backup instance, all backups. You can see all backups and then diagnosis. So you can see security, write access, dependencies. So, so now if we go over the sidebar right here, you, you'll see manage users. So you can click it and you can manage the users. You can search all user, VIP, and admin. Um, you can add a new user right here. And then you can go back to admin. So you can see footer pages, which is gonna be the, ter uh, the, uh, the terms of use, the privacy, the contact us. So you can change that. Site customization. So site logo, favicon, and then the home message. And then if, you, if you're changing this, just press the save button. So I think that's all of the uh, admin panel. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting LinkStack working on CostOS using Big Bear CostOS, a third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.